Before these lawyers began their protest march, a satyagraha was launched opposite the Hulsdorf court complex. The protest was held to force the oppressive government to step down immediately. The lawyers then marched towards the bank of Ceylon Marvatha near the World Trade Center in Colombo to urge the president to step down. This was the manner in which police water cannons and riot squads were stationed to respond to the protest march. We have the police on the other side of these barricades and then we have the lawyers on this side. But at the end we meet each other in courts. Police is trying to protect a madman who has breached the law of this country. In the meantime we are standing with the people whose lives were pushed to a misery by this Rajapaksa family together with Vikramasinghe. The people have taken to the streets. All of their fundamental rights are violated today. They are screaming their woes but the president and the parliament is ignoring their cries. Please resign immediately or else the people will soon take the law into their hands and you won't be able to stop that. Join the people's struggle. We are there for you. We will stand for you until we win this struggle. The Gaul Lawyers Association marched in protest from the Gaul courts to the Gaul fort today. One of their demands was the immediate resignation of the president. Another was for the government to stop suppressing the people's right to express themselves. <laughs> The Gaul police intervened in stopping the protest near the Gaul clock tower. However, the Lawyers Association questioned the legality of such an action by the police. The Gaul Senior Superintendent of Police, the Gaul Superintendent of Police and the Police Anti-Riot Unit 
were present at the scene. Meanwhile, people were not allowed to enter the area of the golf fort that is visible to the Gaul International Cricket Stadium as well. The group then marched from Gaul Fort to the Gaul Town. The incident had taken place during the test match between Sri Lanka and Australia. The fundamental rights application was filed by two lawyers, Amara Divakara Leonarachi and G. H. Ajit Kumara. The Army Commander, the Inspector General of Police, the Minister of Public Security, Tiran Alas, and the Secretary to the Ministry. The Attorney General, among 10 others, have been named as respondents in the case. The petitioners point out that on the 30th of June 2022, they staged a peaceful protest by displaying placards against the President and the actions of the current government. It has been alleged in the petition that the armed forces personnel who stormed the premises forcibly removed their placards. The petitioners also state that the army officers who acted arbitrarily addressed the protesters in a threatening manner. The petitioners are requesting the Supreme Court to rule that the fundamental right to freedom of expression, assembly and freedom from cruel torture guaranteed by the Constitution have been violated. It further demanded a compensation of 5 million rupees for the violation of fundamental rights.